what's uh, what's going on YouTube uh, you can see it's it's been a while number one uh, you can see some changes here I'm, I'm gonna try to make this quick <clears throat> there's no more sponge filter uh, there's no more hang on the back filter uh, basically we got moved into the new house and I had to leave the fish tank at our old house which we still own it's a long story but nonetheless uh, <clears throat> I was gone for work for about three weeks uh, no water change or anything my wife went over to our old house and fed the fish and uh, I got off one day and I moved the tank over to the new house it's back on the stand you can see a spot there in the middle of the stand that the uh, the wood filling has popped out but that's that's no issue to me but the big news is is uh yeah I was gone for uh, two and a half or three weeks I, I'm not sure I was gone for a while uh, I came home for one day and then I was gone for another two and a half weeks and during that time frame uh, my birthday had come and gone so I got some gift cards to uh, Amazon and what I got uh, been waiting on this for a while been wanting this for a while excuse me I don't know if you can see uh, the lighting's subpar to the left uh, is a brand new Fluval FX6 just hooked it up tonight to the right is the Fluval 306 you can see there's a pretty good size difference in the two uh, so far so good I probably need to move the uh, outtake nozzle up just a little bit it's probably four or five inches below the water line but as of right now I don't really care but uh, <clears throat> What I do really like about the FX6 so far is everything's black. You can see the intake and the output nozzle of the 306, they're both clear and they stick out. The FX6, you can't see at all, it's black. So, you know, I like that a lot. Uh, on a side note, 70 inch TV hung up on the wall and a Vizio sound bar, which is a Vizio 70 inch, but I'm pretty excited about that. The weather's coming on, it looks like it could be rough this weekend but oh well I'm off so that's a plus uh, I'm gonna cut the video short go upstairs and show you a few more things all right we're back real quick this is a ten gallon tank I do have one little Mbuna in here he was getting picked on pretty badly uh, his fins were nipped to the point to where they were almost gone so I got him in a little ten gallon tank and uh, basically, you know, I'll, I'll just leave him in here because if I put him back in a 75 gallon, he probably won't survive. And, <clears throat> you know, this, I, I don't ultimately know what I'm gonna do with him. There's, there's no way I can keep him, um, but I hate to get rid of one fish. So I'll just, I might leave him in here for a while until he grows uh, a little bit. But on a side note, um, walk through here real quick. And expense the mess a little bit, but my wife and I are expecting our first child in uh, the, the end of August, and it's fish themed. So that's that's pretty cool. We ain't been in the hobby very long. My fit, my wife does enjoy all of this. So that ten gallon tank's gonna come in here at some point. Um, here's a little, I guess it's a well, and some little sea urchins on here. And, what I ultimately plan to do is put the 10 or 20 gallon tank in, in my daughter's room. Uh, we're gonna have a little girl. And uh, I'd like to put a little, probably a little uh, little Nemo in here for her because you know, I'll, I'll probably get used to the, uh, the Disney movies pretty quickly uh, when she comes and grows a little bit. Um, and also, I know on one of my last videos, I mentioned, uh, the, the 27 gallon. So this is where I'm at right now. Uh, excuse the mess inside of here. I'm, I'm gonna follow uh, CJ Aquariums. Uh, his, pretty much basically his same cube setup. I got a five and a half gallon tank down here, right here that will get set up as a sump. I have, uh, this is coins, it's, it's nothing. 
uh, that's the, the filter and stuff that come with the kit. I'm not going to get used in this setup. I'm trying to make this video pretty quick. So leave that alone right now. I got the same uh, the same skimmer that he used, the, the eShops PSK75. And um, I got the light that came with the tank. I'm not going to use it, but I got uh, a refractometer in here with the calibration fluid. And the uh, eShops Nano, or eShops, excuse me, the Glass Hose Nano Overflow Kit for the uh, tank. And <clears throat> that's the bulkhead. Basically, uh, oh, they come with the uh, drill bit too. Basically, the refractometer, uh, the glass hose kit, and the skimmer. Let me flip this over here. There's my address on there. I don't really want to broadcast that to the world. Um, this, all this equipment come from Reef Central. And if you get on there and you have, have more than 50 posts, you can get on the, the seller's forums, seller's forums, and <clears throat> you know people are, have either used this equipment or bought it to use and never did use it or whatever. I've got pretty good deals on it. It's worked out for me. I gotta get the light, some sand, some rock, and at that point I'll be almost ready to go. So here in a couple months, that'll be ready. And here we are back on the 75 gallon. The, uh, the fish are doing, doing really well. Uh, I, I've just hooked up the FX6 probably two hours ago. So far I'm liking it. What I'm, what I'm really gonna like the most is the fact that I'm done with the hang on the back filters. That, that Aqua Clear 70 was annoying, it was loud. And whenever the water level dropped, it got loud. Uh, it was just, I, I'm just not a fan of hang on the back filters, period. Um, basically, hopefully, uh, I'll get rid of the 306 and uh, the FX6 will, will do its job. But overall, I'm pleased with the FX6. It was easy to set up. Took a little bit of time. Of course, I don't know water change since I neglected it for you know, almost a month, better part of a month. And it took me a couple hours to clean everything, get everything going again. But I'm back. Uh, shouldn't be going away for a while. Uh, little girl's coming, so hopefully this will this will all kind of life will mellow out a little bit, and we'll get her set up with her own little fish tank, and, and a, a new journey will begin for my wife and I. Thanks everybody for watching, and uh, I guess happy hump day. It's, it's Wednesday, so have a good one, everybody.